So I have been trying for the longest time to eat more fruits and vegetables. In fact, I even tried to make it a monthly challenge inside of Planner Pixies. I put it up there. I was like, eat a piece of fruit every day, like as a challenge. Only I think one person voted for it. It might have been me. So clearly this is not a habit that anyone cares about. And there's not really an app to track that. There's, yeah, there's tons of dieting apps and those are so fun, right? Like who wants to look at those? Those are depressing. So where else can you track new habits that you wanna see the progress, you wanna give yourself little stars, you want to see like how well you've done month to month? Well, you can do all of that inside of ClickUp. So yeah, there are different habit trackers out there and they give you different incentives, but honestly, I find them all a little confusing and they all assume you're gonna add like 100 different habits every month, which who has time for that? Uh, but I also like keeping everything in one location and if I'm already paying for ClickUp, I don't really wanna pay for another app just to track like one habit or two habits or something like that. So we're gonna make ClickUp work for us and become our habit tracker. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Tuesday. So this is super simple, really easy. I'm gonna flip the camera, you can see exactly what I'm saying and let's get her done. All right, we're gonna start with a blank space. So we need to create our first space and we're just gonna call this Habit Trackers because we're gonna create a couple. And for Habit Trackers, I'm just gonna put a little paper clip because we want to remember. Um, and then I'm just gonna say, I don't need multiple signees or tags or time tracking, so I can get rid of those. And I'm gonna leave my default view as list and I'm gonna leave board as an option in case I want to track that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and say create space. So over here in my list, I am going to change the name of that list. I'm gonna hit that little pencil and I'm gonna call this my uh, workouts. Oops, because I feel like that's something everyone just likes to track. And then over here for workouts, I will call this weights. And I will have another list maybe uh, called cardio. Whoops. And another one called the flexibility. So we got the main three components of workout. So over here under weights, I'm going to say under subtasks, I'm going to say um, chest and tries. And then I'm going to also say back and buys. And then for day three, I'm going to say legs and shoulders. And that looks good. And then for cardio, I'm going to add spin, running, swimming. So I got six days of workouts and then for flexibility, I know everyone thinks of yoga, but I'm just going to put stretch. All right. So where's the progress tracker? It's nowhere in here. So we're going to go up here to show, we're going to go to columns and then we're going to go to progress. We're going to leave it on auto because we don't want to do any math and we're just going to say percentage complete. So we can see hundred percent for the week and it's going to track subtasks. I don't need to track any of these other items and we'll display 100% when we're done. Now we've added that column. So now we can see our percentage complete. So let's say we go in and I know for that day um, I did chest and tries. So I'm going to mark that subtask off with an easy check mark. Cardio, uh, I went running this week. So now I can see at a glance, let me refresh this, uh, that I am pretty much well on my way to completing my tasks, habits for the week. I have, I'm 33% of the way for weights and for cardio. And then obviously if I did flexibility, I can add that, uh, where's my stretch? Where's my stretch? I could have swear I've added a stretch. There we go. And we'll mark that off. We'll say, okay, we'll refresh this view. And I can quickly see now that I am good to go. I have done weights, cardio flexibility. Now this is a weekly setup. You can do this monthly or any other kind of format that you want. All right, I hope that was helpful. Just wanted to give you a quick and easy video on how ClickUp can just do the math for you, which is something I always appreciate with subtasks and just adding that extra column over here by going to show columns and going to that progress auto.
All right, I'll see everyone next week.